to KP's Kingdom, cooking with KP, and today I'm going to show you how I make my caramelized onion, bacon, and sweet potato scrolls. Really nice little treat, and they taste great the next day for a nice little lunch. Right, first thing I've got, I'm getting some uh, aluminium foil, just cooking foil. I'm going to put a couple of sheets down there, just like that. Now, what we're going to do, we've got our sweet potatoes, they're already peeled, and I've giving them a little bit of a top and tail. I'm just going to roll that up in the foil just like I'm doing right there. Just wrap it up as though you were doing a piece of corn. My oven is already sitting at 180 degrees Celsius, the magic number of course. And all we simply do is roll this up, get the edges, bring them in. We want these totally sealed so they'll cook in their own juices. So there's the first one. Put that aside on a baking tray. Do your second one. Now, you can use more or less depending on the size of your sweet potato or kumara. You can also use that as well. Straight into the oven around about 35 40 minutes. Right, take those out, they're still quite warm. Get a nice bowl and just put that sweet potato straight into the bowl just like that. Make sure you get rid of all the foil, of course. Put the second one in. And as you can see, they come out quite easily and they're really, really soft. Now, I'm actually just using a, a normal knife. I'm just going to slice through that a little bit, give it a bit of a choppity choppity, right? And all we're going to do now is we're going to uh, get our potato masher or our vegetable masher. Now, we've only chopped that so far. We haven't squeezed it or anything. Get your favorite cheese sliced, or sorry, grated and put that in a good handfuls worth nice bit of black pepper just straight over in there like that a little bit of black a little bit of white I'm gonna add in a nice little dash of ground cinnamon and just a pinch of ground nutmeg you can use the fresh stuff if you've got it okay we're just going to give that a mash through that cheese is going to help hold everything together when we cook this off for the second time. So just give that a nice little quick mash through, make sure everything's mixed through and is nice and even. It's not real hard to do. And if you haven't tried mixing these flavors together before, wow, this is going to blow your mind and your friends and your families, believe it or not. Right, some puff pastry. I'm just gonna score that with the back of a fork. If you're a subscriber, you might have seen me do this before. I just give that a little bit of a key that is a technical term a little bit of egg wash which is an egg with a dash of water beaten up and we're going to just invert those two rough edges together this is actually a, a bit of a woodworking technique um, I am a detailed joiner by trade so I know about joining timbers together so I'm just going to use the back of the fork squish that down again just like I'm doing right there. Get those two surfaces to know each other very, very well and very intimate. All right, so we now have one nice large piece of pastry. Right, caramelized onion, make your own. I still have to film this video where I make my own or you can actually buy it from your local supermarket. Just a nice sweet onion that has been cooked for a long, long time. Right, we're going to use this as a, uh, a bit of a butter, for a better word. Just spread that out all over the pastry. It's going to add this very thin film of a very intense flavour. So, caramelised onion is just amazing. Uh, if I haven't already made it before and I need it in a pinch, I do prefer to use the Berenberg brand here in Australia. It is just mm, to die for. So, we've done that. We've got some nice streaky bacon. We're going to lay that down around about half an inch from the edge. Right, just lay that down right next to each other. We're going to end up with a nice layer of bacon for our filling to sit on. And this will sit on the outside and go into the inside. And this bacon will cook off in the oven. We've already got our oven sitting at 180 degrees Celsius. Now, take your cheese and sweet potato mixture we're just going to lay that straight over the top of the bacon just a nice layer around about three eighths of an inch or 10 millimeters thick you can make it thicker if you want just remember the thicker you make it the more moisture you're going to have 
Now, what we're simply going to do now is we're going to roll this up. Make sure you get rid of the blue plastic. It does not taste good at all. Believe me, I've tried. So, I'm having another bad day with my MS symptoms and I don't know why I try to film when I'm having a bad day, but it's just something that I end up doing. We're going to just roll that straight up like this like that, like a nice big sushi roll, a big spring roll, right, all done, nice sharp knife, and we're going to cut these around about an inch thick, maybe a little bit thicker if you want to, put those straight down on a bit of baking paper, on a uh, baking tray, and uh, that is pretty much all we have to do now, is just uh, put that straight into the oven to cook, as I said, 180 degrees Celsius that's all we need for these and this is a great recipe if you want to make it vegetarian leave the bacon out simple uh, if you want to uh, you could actually add a bit of spinach to it it wouldn't matter that's giving me an idea for another recipe believe it or not put those down straight into the oven and before you know it they are going to be cooked as I said, if you haven't tried this combination before, you don't know what you're missing. All right. It's time to plate up. Look at those beautiful little golden rings of delight and pleasure. It's absolutely amazing, the flavor of these. I'm going to serve these up with a little bit of uh, dill pickles. If you don't know how to make dill pickles, you should be a subscriber, and you'll see my video on how to make your own dill pickles. All right. Thank you so much for watching this video. Really do appreciate it. If you like this video, hit that like button. It gives me confidence. Leave a comment. Love to hear from you. Love responding to you all. Share this video with all your friends on all platforms of social media. Hit that notifications bell so you never miss another one of my videos again. More importantly, you want a little quick idea. Again, a nice budget recipe. You need to come and join the family. My family. Hit the subscribe button and you'll never miss another one of my videos again. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you next time. Bye!